<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I'm to hear more. <laughs> I'm Patrick Cloud. <laughs> and this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. <laughs> Shout out to all the birthday August uh, August birthdays that we don't have. And if, if it is your birthday in August, happy birthday to you. Uh, we put up the the questionnaire. Nobody filled it out for August. So I know we got some Leos there in the Scary Squad. There has to be at least, at least three Leos in there. So happy birthday to you, just in mm-hmm. case. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, very special guest on today's show. I actually found her page just on my For You page scrolling. Saw a video. I was like, yo, she's fucking hilarious. Saw another video. And I just reached out. Like, I didn't do any any type of research or anything. But very funny, talented, new comedian, actor, mm-hmm. improver, content creator. I'm sure at some point she's going to be a writer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mackenzie Ray. <laughs> What's up, Kenzie? Not much. The sound effects on this thing are crazy. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah. You know what I'm I never did the explosions for anybody else. Yeah. That was new. I, appreciated I was trying it out. that in house. Made in house. <laughs> we went to uh, we went to we went to school for it. So, you know, we get, get just, you know, pretty pretty good at it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what what a stump you trying to spell like an explosion oh. sound? Yeah, like how do you spell it's like P? P. Is it P or is it B? No, definitely. And then it's like C H C H C H C H C H. That's not bad. Not a Q? A little bit of an L in there. A little bit of an L in that one. Ah, it's a floating. I would be like P O O O O O, then the C H C H C H C H. So like really. Okay. I don't know. I guess it depends. That's depends who's doing it. It's difficult. It's difficult. I I don't know how to spell it. How the hell do you spell an explosion? I know. I know. It's crazy as fuck, right? There's got to be people that decide this That's stuff, a- like the words, you know, like Merriam-Webster, it's like sounds. Maybe P-U's, five I U's. I thought it, I, I was like, I was trying to put a C-K in there or, or Q-C. Or I'm something. feeling the C-H. I heard the C-K, yeah. but there was an H in there. A lot yeah. more C-H, C-H, I'm C-H, feeling the C-H. C-K, yeah. H, I'm saying yeah. P, five U's, ten pairs of C-H's. <laughs> five U's. Ah, the a of few U's. Okay. Yeah, All right. I, I hear just, it. I just did this. <laughs> <laughs> and you understood for some reason. You use your hands. I didn't, hands, I didn't you change anything. I just did this. I, <laughs> I, oh, <laughs> I understand when people talk with their hands. Not yeah. like people that are actually signing, but if you s- it's more spell visual. it out like yeah. this, I'm, I'm going to be like, you on. know what? Okay. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll go see with it. that. I'll go with that. I see the visual. Well, uh, Kenzie, I told you before uh, we got started that we do a intro song. It's always different. It's mm. never good. So take the pressure off yourself. Um, it's just try to rhyme. Damn it, and that you scary with a rhyming word of scary or something like that. Okay. I beatbox and Pat kicks off the rap. And all you got to do is like two bars, and then we just gonna we gonna have fun and we gonna jump right into the show. Okay, too. I could do. Yeah, no I pressure. Could do two. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, if you're feeling it, you know, go crazy with the shit. But you know, no pressure. Just get away to it if you want. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, see if I'm All feeling right. it. Let's go. We should go old school with it. <laughs> yeah. What's good, bitches? We in the studio with Mackenzie. Stamming in at you scary, bitch. Let's go. What, you thought this shit was friendly? We here chilling with my friend Mackenzie. Came through shitting like I just drank dairy. Welcome to Damn In and You Scary. I'ma bust it like a cherry. Throw a damn incendiary. Now I look at you, you all burnt up. I'ma pass it to my left. Mackenzie, what's up? Uh, in the green room, trying yep. to figure out how to spell boom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Don't care about your man, built mm-hmm. like a fairy. Happy to be here. <laughs> Internet, you scary. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. silly. Yeah. laughs> Care about let, me just, <laughs> let me just acknowledge this is the first rap song I've ever heard that said, happy to be here. <laughs> That's so wholesome. I'm happy to be here. It's a good time. It's a good time. You got to question every other time. Like, these people aren't happy to be here. Oh, God. I love that. I've never heard of rap songs. Hey, you know what? I'm happy to be here. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, because I'm going to fire off a couple questions, random style, rapid fire. I just want you to say the first uh, answer that comes to mind, truthfully, and it'll help the audience get to, to know you a little bit better, and oh, okay. uh, actually get let us get to know you a little bit better too. So it's gonna start easy, then it's gonna get a little crazy. All right, here we go. Favorite movie? Clueless. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay. okay. Here we go. Yeah. Favorite musical album? 
Mu- oh, musical album. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I, I <laughs> fucked up a lot of words. I, we forgot it's, to give you that disclaimer. It was, too. <laughs> it was a <laughs> there was a live <laughs> mute. Okay, there. let's let's go ahead and take that back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll already got that. Favorite record, favorite album. Uh, I gotta go. Sizzle Control. Ooh, that just takes me back to college. It's God. so good. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, favorite food. Oh. Oh. That's mm-hmm. a pretty complex question. Um, but why? Just because, like, there's my favorite food, but I can't have it all the time, and then there's food that I could eat every day. Do both. Mm. So, like, food I could eat every day would be, like, like chicken nuggets and rice mm-hmm. or, like, fried chicken and rice. I feel like that's always – I could have that every day and never get sick like of it. Like, just white rice with gravy or just plain white rice? Just plain white rice. Damn. Yeah. Do you have a, dip, you have a dipping little, sauce for like, the chicken? Or? Like, dipping sauce, little hot sauce, but, like, not – I don't need gravy on mm-hmm. it or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's a very meal prep type meal. What yeah. about what you can't have? What do you like all the time? Yeah. yeah. You you ever had pine and crane? It's like Thai food. Or pine and crane. Yeah. No. That's, the name, cr- that's the name of the place. Yeah, yeah. that's the mm-hmm. name of the place. I live right across from one. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> just kidding. Just Damn, kidding. internet, you s- <laughs> very scary. It's really, it's really far from my house, and uh, no, it's so good, it's so good. But uh, if I had that every day, uh-huh. I wouldn't feel good. Like, yeah. It, yeah. Well, what, what'd you get from there? I get it's like Dan Dan noodles. It's like Dan these Dan? little, yeah. It's got cucumber, and it's got th- like a spicy peanut sauce. Mm-hmm. That's really good. They got a beef roll. Self-explanatory. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it's just too spicy. It's no, it's not too I spicy. Say, now, it's like too much, up, too much oil. Thought. It's like a lot of oil. Oh, unhealthy. Relatively. Oh, you got, got a picture of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the we oil got shits. And nothing worse than a hot shit or oily shit. Damn, not damn. me, so I don't shit like that. <laughs> All of my are perfect. Um <laughs> <laughs> I'm all the regular. You catch me three that. times a day. Easy, baby. Easy, easy. Dan Dan noodles. They're good. They're really good. I it's like, like kind of relatively too. fresh, but there's still that oil in it. So it's kind of like. Is that ground beef in it? <laughs> it is. Or maybe it's nuts. Maybe it's both. Pipe, pipe, the peanut? one that I get doesn't have ground beef in it. Mm. But it's good. Okay, I would so okay. Dan Dan shrimp, noodles. Shrimp wonton dumplings. Oh, yeah, that's a good time. It's really good yeah. with like a chili be, sauce. Maybe wet, though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's I go like on it. to um, most embarrassing place you've ever got caught having sex. Oh, wow. From <laughs> after favorite food. <laughs> I said it was going to build up. Are we in medium or that, hard now? We are medium. This is medium. This is medium. Yikes. That is so funny. I haven't had a lot of sex outside of the bedroom. So mm. if you're coming to the bedroom, you should be embarrassed. Because why are you? <laughs> yeah, why that's are you? An invasion of that's, privacy. Yeah, that's on you. You should be embarrassed. I'm not. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna say maybe just the bedroom. Hell yeah. Yeah. I've definitely got caught in cars. Had somebody knock on a. <laughs> it's like that person's car. It's like yeah, you're gonna get caught. <laughs> <laughs> or their mom. It's like not your <laughs> car. No, it was a parking attendant. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, he was just doing his job. He was. It was. Somebody hated, it, but I mean, you know, it happens to the best of us. Could have waited. Good. <laughs> So it happens when you don't tip valet. Yeah. They're, gonna, they're gonna interrupt. That is very true. Yeah. But if it was valet, I wouldn't have been the car. He would have parked it. Mm. Uh, last time you got blackout drunk, or if ever. Oh, uh, last time I got blackout drunk. I honestly, I can't think of it. But the last time I got really drunk was last weekend. Oh. I'm trying to remember what I did. Well, I mean, it's blackout, so you that's, probably won't. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Who was I with? <laughs> I really can't think of it. Did you have to talk to somebody to piece together the night? Like, hey, what was was going on all of yesterday? What I like to do is not talk to anyone after I get (laughs) drunk. And I just, like, go in my hole, and I'm like, I don't want to hear about what I did. I don't want to hear, hear about, about what it you at did. One point, yeah, yeah I'll hear, we'll talk about <laughs> it when it's, like, way it's down the enough. road. Yeah. yeah. If it's bad enough, I'll hear about it. Month later, <laughs> year later, we can talk about it, but I don't want to hear about what I did. I already did it. Why do I need to know? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't drink a lot, though. Okay. All right. Yeah, you say, you say you're more of a smoker or yeah. gummies? Oh, you it? know what it was? I had four drinks. I went to the Viper Room. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. You're not allowed to wear open-toed shoes there. I should have taken Shit. that as a sign that they pour pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's They're like, we don't want you to trip <laughs> Yeah, we after we fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally. Viper Room sounds intense. I've it's only, I've cool. only heard of it. It's, it was a cool spot, but my friend was wearing open-toed shoes. Very Like, the whole foot was exposed. It's just like 
string wrapped around it to hold it oh, onto the string. shoe, okay. essentially. It's just like a dainty little heel. But the woman stopped us at the door that was checking us in, and she was like, if you fucking sue, I'll beat your ass. And then, she, and then she turned around, and she's like, I'm sorry. It's just like... <laughs> It's just super strict here because, like, I guess it's a punk place. A lot yeah. of people are moshing, so people have gotten their toes smashed. Yeah, that makes sense. She could have just said, you can't come in. Why does she have to go straight to <laughs> she, she could have said that, but I think she's a girl's girl at the end of the day. I'll so let you like, in, I'll... but I will beat your ass <laughs> Yeah. if there's consequences. To be oh. fair, to be fair, my friend looks like she would sue, and that's on her. That, okay. And that, that's that on hap- her. That happens. I've, I've had friends that look that's like true. that. That's true. Some people do have, like, a suey look to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like suey you- look? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think none of us have them, but what was it about? What was it about her that was suey? It's just like it's it like a, a vibe more than it is a look, almost. Okay. Where it's like good posture, and you got big eyes, and you look very alert. You look like you're clocking some stuff, and maybe okay. you know somebody in law. I don't know. Big good posture was the wildest part of that. Big list. eyes too. Like, <laughs> like no, the big eyes. I get it. Big, big like, eyes is like a, a walking camera, but the good posture <laughs> is very funny. It's like big. No, it's like big eyes clocking the shit. That it's like, oh, I could sue for that. Someone stepped on my foot. <laughs> very cl- suey and clocky. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, what, what, give me one second. I just want to make sure that our sound is being recorded, though, right? Our sound is being recorded. Okay, they just can't hear it. Oh, they said they couldn't hear again? Yeah, they still saying they're they're like, they couldn't hear. Like, oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Damn, they see us having a good time. We're like, right. <laughs> <laughs> the we're like, FOMO. we're fucking rapping. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, uh, shout out so to the Patreons who are still here. Right. Now shout out to y'all for hanging out. That yeah, was, uh, that was that's awesome. pretty crazy. Last time you stole something. Ooh. Let's incriminate. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't have to take what she, what she did. Oh, wait. It had to have been. Don't say a heart. <laughs> Don't say something dumb. <laughs> I, want, I want actual burglary. <laughs> Could you I imagine? I want actual I misdemeanor. <laughs> um, Last thing I stole. Gosh, I really got to think about it. It had to have been at a restaurant because some of these restaurants, they mm-hmm. just, their ramekins are really cute. <laughs> You stole a ramekin? Are you not stealing ramekins? <laughs> no, that's so Do big. Where would I ram- put it? Who buys ramekins? I need something for my sauce separate from my plate, but I'm not going to buy it. You know what I mean? But it has sauce in that's it in the restaurant. Ha- Do you wipe it off or do you just have you a saucy napkin. ramekin? Just clear it out. I saucy clear ramekin? Okay. I'm using it. You know, Fair I use all like the that. sauce. Mm-hmm. If you're going to a nice restaurant, there's not enough sauce in it, so you're probably using it all up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably a ramekin. I'm be. so glad y'all got it's it too, because I didn't know what a ramekin was until I used the context clues of you guys' conversation. I found out. Yeah. Well, three tell me ago. what you think it is. Well, I, I mean, just based off of what y'all said, the little, the little, yeah. little circular things that that come with the saucy, the metal or ceramic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what that it is. Name. I thought it was just a little, little socks, sauce food, cup. Food beauty yeah. shots being. <laughs> 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 shots of gravy. <laughs> Pasta. Okay, good to know. Uh, speaking of food, though, real oh, quick, crazy, though. I mm. do want to let y'all know, man, listen, if you're trying to lose a little weight, you need to check out Factor, all right? Factors, no prep, no mess meals are the best for fueling up in a very healthy way. And when I tell you the food is good, fantastic, flavorful, ready in two minutes, never frozen, just refrigerated, comes to your front door, you ain't got to go nowhere, I'm not lying to you. Y'all know how I feel about food. Y'all know I'm a real foodie. I be out here. I be eating for real. I would not tell you this if I did not believe it. I had, and I, this was, this was, this was still the deal for me. I had, I think it was at Pork Chops. I was like, I know these ain't finna be seasoned. Everything else I had up until that point was pretty good, but I was like, I know these ain't finna be seasoned. Not only were they seasoned, and tender, but delicious too. And I'm talking about these are meals where you can tell that it's, it's, it's good for you. Because I would eat the whole thing. I don't feel sluggish afterwards. I don't feel heavy afterwards. With 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons you get to choose from every week, you'll always find a new flavor to explore. You get to crush your wellness goals. Um, these are approved by dietitians and ingredients that you can trust. Make your day delicious. From breakfast to dessert, stay fueled with easy nutrition, I mean, nutritious options. So, head to Factor Meals right now, factormeals.com slash DIYS50, and use the code DIYS50 to get 50% off your first box, plus 
20% off your next month. 50% off the first month, 20% off your next month. That code is DIYS at factormeals.com slash DIYS50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off the next month. It don't get no better than that. Don't say I ain't never gave you nothing. Shit. <laughs> so now you gotta you gotta finish strong like yeah, a yeah. man would. Yeah. Now, now how many times I done told you clean that room? Mm-hmm. Shit. <laughs> Come downstairs and eat you. Get you something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, we have nothing but wild stories. Nothing but wild stories. <laughs> I, I was just I, looking I, at the like, We have nothing but insane stories. What you wanna jump into first? Mackenzie. Ooh, let's do the let's do the mortuary. Oh. Ooh, Mortuary dark. for uh, eight hundred. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, actually, these are this is two stories. Apparently, um, mortuary workers are just selling body parts left and right. So yeah. there's two articles. The first one: a uh, mortuary worker admits selling twenty four boxes of boxes. body parts that she took from cadavers. Uh, Candace Chapman Scott, thirty seven, pleaded guilty to transporting body parts across state lines and conspiring to commit mail fraud. Oh. If you see her uh, mugshot, she absolutely did that. <laughs> I, l- uh, I like that they included mail fraud as if that was like... The, the issue. <laughs> yeah, and, and she also did this. <laughs> so crazy. So a former mor- mortuary worker in Arkansas has pleaded guilty to selling stolen body parts. Candace Chapman um, was transporting body parts across state lines and conspiring to commit mail fraud. Um, Scott was initially charged in April 2023 with six counts of wire fraud, four counts Mm. of mail fraud, and two counts of interstate transportation of stolen property. Mm. Uh, She was working at a mortuary service uh, provider that transported, embalmed, and cremated remains for the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences, uh, which received donated uh, cadavers through the... uh, anatomical gift program authorities said that scott while working at the mortuary contacted a pennsylvania man on a facebook group about oddities um and according to a plea agreement obtained obtained by people scott introduced herself as a mortician at a trade service mortuary explaining that the mortuary was contracted through uams in little rock to cremate medical cadavers uh can you go down and real quick um she then asked the man if he knew anyone interested in purchasing an embalmed oh. human brain. Oh. She just started with selling slanging brains. Not even using the street word oh. for brain. <laughs> <laughs> What's the street word? <laughs> noggin. You got a, you, you want to buy a noggin? But wait, it's already embalmed. So what are they going to use it for? Like like in a classroom or like why are people buying embalmed brains? Oh, right. They or maybe they're eating them. Uh, they could be. Yeah, eat. we're we're already sick. That's yeah. why. We already passed sick, so that might be the Embalmed, case. Embalmed, it's like pickled. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, just like collectors. <laughs> That's what oddities mean. And mean? then he, then she oh. said, if you knew any, if you know anybody else <laughs> interested <laughs> in purchasing. <laughs> Embalmed human braid, please just hit me up. You know anybody else looking for a jar of dicks? Uh, <laughs> she can't. She can't cold call door to door with this stuff. No, you can't. No, that's just, word of mouth. Well, that's why you start with a Facebook group called Oddities, which means <laughs> freaky ass people. Um, says she negotiated the purchase of human body parts after that, um, and then she shipped twenty four boxes containing stolen body parts from Arkansas to Pennsylvania through the U.S. Postal Service. Um, she received ten thousand six hundred and twenty-five dollars in payment for the remains. That's it. For twenty-four boxes is kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. To risk your life. I kind of wish they did like a body count where it's like six legs. It was seven arms. So yeah. Like, like, <laughs> kind of like what's in the box? Maybe they're mystery boxes. Like you don't know what you're gonna get. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, a, bu- a butt cheek. That's like. Oh, they got a toe in mine. That's what I mean. It's like a leg. whole box full of fingers. <laughs> like oh my god, it's full of fingers. Oh well, here it is. Here it goes. Uh, numerous stolen body parts in boxes and trash bags, including a human brain, heart, skull cap, what? Mm. kidneys, livers, hands, and a female pelvis with femurs. I know what that last one is used but, for. That okay. is yeah. Oh, horrifying. no. no. That's, uh, and she got the payments through PayPal. Oh. Oh, she wanted to get caught, Charlie. You got to you gotta figure PayPal. out another way to do that. That's a Zell transaction. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's so crazy. Like, I always thought about that. I just thought that people who worked in mortuaries just had like 
an iron stomach. Like I, you know, nothing grosses me out. I don't, nothing makes me, you know, throw up. I can smell whatever, yeah. but it really be like nasty people. Like the amount of morticians we've gone over in this show that got caught having sex with the yep. body parts, mm-hmm. selling the body parts. It's like, I feel like we're not doing enough body, uh, not body, um, background checks for morticians. If you want to work in this scenario, <laughs> there might be some super weird ulterior motives. Minerva said the brain is considered a cabinet of curiosity's decor item. Who so said like that? Just, you, Minerva so in, in, in the chat. Hey, hey, what's the cabinet what of curiosity's yeah. decor that's, items? So that's you just got a whole cabinet <laughs> of just items of like, ooh. Who's going to come over and be like, oh, explain the brain to me? <laughs> if, you're not a, if I know you're not a doctor, that'd be like, hmm, how do, where's the exits? Cabinet of curiosity sounds like something out of Harry Potter. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's, oh, that checks out. Yo. Oh, yeah. He's definitely fucking a brain. He yeah. found his. He she found her brain. target yeah. audience, as Keith Lee would say. <laughs> <laughs> After she this, found I pray to God and hope that you find her target audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is a oh, this, this is connected one. to that first one or is this is completely separate? Oh, so he's flipping the body part. Oh, right. Oh, he's flipping it. OK. He- <laughs> Okay. He had her come <laughs> to the Facebook group where he bought it for discount, and he's selling it on, on a black market. He's like, I'm not weird. I'm not going <laughs> to use this. I'm just going to f- resell this. Wait, does he oh. have pins in his head? He yeah. got two little mini uh, double right. horns. Okay. And it looks like the they go too. all the way back almost. Like the way oh, it's like, like, like a fucking dragon? Yeah, like a dragon, like a like dinosaur. The, yeah. a wow. Bit. He got the one black eye, too, on the, the tatted face. Yeah. Yeah. The side of the yeah, face, the which is crazy. So apparently this is a connected... Uh, article. It says, man who intended to resell body parts on Facebook allegedly bought stolen human remains. A uh, Pennsylvania man was charged with abuse of a corpse, receiving stolen property and other charges after police say he allegedly tried to buy stolen human remains from an Arkansas woman uh, for possible resale on Facebook. It's crazy how like mm. crime has like a little MCU universe that's all connected. <laughs> <laughs> The spokeswoman for the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences in Little Rock confirmed that the remains were to be donated to UAMS facility. Um, And the UAMS spokeswoman, Leslie Taylor, said they were instead stolen from an Arkansas central mortuary in Little Rock by a female mortuary employee and sold, adding that there is an open federal investigation. Um, the representative of the re- mortuary uh, hung up on a reporter who reached out for comment on <laughs> Thursday. Uh, FBI Little Rock spokesman Connor Hagan said the office was aware of the Pennsylvania incident, um, but will not comment on ongoing investigations. No charges have been filed um, as of Thursday against the Arkansas woman. Um, huh. I feel like she was the main offender. Flipping it at that point, it's like, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's already gone. <laughs> she needs she needs the brunt of I, the law. How I feel about it is like she's definitely main offender. I am hate to say it. I am shocked it was a woman. Why? Because I feel like usually with mortuary issues, like it's, men. it's the men. Yeah. I've heard like mortuaries go out of their way to not hire mm. men because of like having sex with the corpses. But I feel like she is the main offender, but she didn't have the business plan. And this man came he in. Had, they should have worked together. They should. He, it sounds like they almost did. <laughs> kinda, I guess they did work together, he kind of yeah. had the business plan because she sold 24 boxes and she made 10K. That just doesn't seem like that. Yeah, what's the math in that? I don't know how much body parts are, but I feel like <laughs> that's not enough. <laughs> that's, how big not. are the boxes? Like, Let me see <laughs> what that is. 24 divided by 10. She was getting 2000 per box of body parts. Of body parts. Like how easy there is were it brains to in there. Yeah, how easy that was is a it whole to come person's up? thoughts oh, for I the mean, whole time <laughs> they were walking around as, alive. As it's old and dead. <laughs> I mean, it's not thoughts. worth as much. It's not like like they're getting it right as the like person fresh, died. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, like you know, collector's edition. Okay. Yeah, so but the value goes down. Yeah. Per day. yeah. But yeah. it's the black market. If you're into that stuff, you should be prepared to pay top dollar. You can't be like, oh, I like human brains, but. <sighs> It's niche, so I'm not paying that much. Like, how are you gonna? How is she keeping haggle? it stinking? Like, is she putting it on it's dry ice. ice? It's gotta be ice. Well, dry ice would burn the skin. Oh, that's true. Not, not that I know about this stuff. Yeah, well, <laughs> you had a <laughs> locked and loaded answer. That's that pretty crazy. So you, you seal it? Like, you have to seal it in one of those Ziploc bags or like the vacuum bag? Oh. I don't. I got a lot of questions now because I'm like, I'm thinking about paper. the smell and how long it takes to get there and. 
I don't know. Just the aftercare. Going through PayPal is insanity. That is very crazy. That is Same work. So like nice. you know, you know that this is the most illegal thing you've done <laughs> ever. <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, just PayPal me. <laughs> Wait, it's like I, wa- I want to know if it was sent as a friend or like as a business. As a business you for know, the tax to be pick. taken out. You gotta, gotta be pick friend. One. You gotta be friend, but they're already stupid, so it's hard to say. That's well, insane uh, to flip it. Also. Well, listen, if you want pelvis, your body parts so ripped and together and healthy that someone would want to sell them at some point, okay. then you need to check out Afro Progression. Um, it's a a new workout service that will get yourself <laughs> in order. I just signed up for it, um, and let me tell you something. I was always one of those people that needed like a coach or something like that. Cause sometimes I just need that motivation to like keep me going. This program right here is it's different. All right. That's it's it's the most intuitive workout logger that I've ever worked with. They are uh, have a plan generator that helps you actually gain the results that you're looking for and it adjusts as you complete the workout. So the workout that you're doing this this week, this month, it's not gonna be the same one that you do the next week, the next month. They have something that like really checks in on you so you can really show your progress and it's going to adjust me uh, accordingly. So I, I, I've i never had any type of workout program like this. It is completely intuitive. Strength training is all about progression. And the algorithm uh, analyzes past performances to give you recommendations for weight and reps in every set. The guarantees long-term success. Uh, Afro Progression is a go-to app for anyone training to maximize muscle gain. Uh, they are 100% focused on that, and the science is based and developed by serious lifters with personal training and competitive bodybuilding backgrounds. Um, it's been recognized twice for app of the day by Apple. You know, if you're getting on Apple's front page, you're either paying all that bread or you're doing exactly what you say you're doing, and they're doing exactly what they say they're doing. So the pro version is $12.99 a month. That's USD. Uh, or you can pay $79.99 USD per year with a two-week free trial. But if I'm telling y'all about it, you know I got a little something extra for you. Our listeners get 20% off their first payment using the link Alpha Progression dot com slash diys again that's 20 percent off their first payment using the link alpha progression dot com slash diys if you're ready to take it to the next level do it with alpha progression all right meet me at the top i'm 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 let me let me let y'all know something too i've never put this out this like this because i'll just say it like on my patreon or something i'm 256 right now by next year i'm going to be 210 215 you're hearing it right now. I'm saying, I'm saying it in front of everybody. By January, I'm going to be 215, 210. Just throwing that out there. That was quite the transition in and out of that. <laughs> 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 I got some things on the horizon. Let me tell you, I'm taking, I'm taking my shirt off all next year. I just want y'all to understand this. This podcast, I'm going to have three, four, five, seven chains on and just one charm, but, but, but topless, okay? By next year, y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Gonna I go hope so. from gonna go from two boxes of body parts to one box of body parts. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go down, That's mad funny because somebody big would need a couple boxes. You gonna save money on shipping? Fuck it with your boys. What I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's jump into the next one. Uh, RDJ. All right, let's do it. RDJ. Let's do it. Robert Downey Jr. Came, <gasps> out, came out. Wow. Came out at Comic Con, dressed as Doctor Doom, took off the mask. A lot of people were expecting. I think we heard people Jared saying Lito. Jared Leto. Yeah, yep. that's it. He was loud and wrong. It was like, who is it? Who is it? Jared Leto. Robert Downey. Jr. It was like Jared Leto. <laughs> like he already knew. Like he had a Marvel connect. Um, but uh, this is coming at, right after the wake of the Kang the Conqueror. They they went through all the marketing. Obviously, Jonathan Majors had some legal troubles. Mm-hmm. And uh, now, um, the Doctor Doom. We already knew that there was a Doctor Doom movie coming. Mm. I don't think anybody I expected. I really? I didn't know because he no. was in, um, Doctor Doom was in Fantastic Four with Michael B. Jordan. Oh, was he? I yeah. didn't see that he version. Was the, he, was the, he was the villain in there. Uh, and they killed him off, like, not easily, but it was, it was pretty dark. Too easy for yeah. Doctor yeah. Doom is, like, known as, like, one of the most powerful villains yeah. in Marvel. And I, yeah, mm-hmm. it was. Now, I would say I saw a cartoon or an animation version of 
all of them having a fight with Dr. Doom, and he was giving it to their ass. Yeah. He gave it to their <laughs> ass and then sat down in the middle of the fight. It's the most disrespectful thing I've ever he's seen in my fucking life. Of, he's that type of villain. Yeah. I, the only reason I knew about it was, you know how they, they show, like, Marvel's uh, calendar for the next few years? Mm -hmm. So I just saw the title. So it was, like, out there, but it was supposed to be after Kang. Um, oh, so okay, so it was already on there when Kang Yeah, it was, was already on the no docket. Okay. Yeah, so it was supposed to be Kang, then this. I think they swapped them. Yeah. Um, and, you know, obviously there's, like, a interview with Jonathan Majors. Mm -hmm. Paparazzi found him on the, the one street. that you you talked about on TMZ. I, you gave your take. I talked about you it on TMZ. That was on you know TMZ. Hey, light flex, slightly light flex. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, yeah, this this is crazy because RDJ was very clearly Iron Man. <laughs> it, it was pretty clear. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just wondering, like, it, either one of two things is happening. Either Hollywood casting directors just don't know enough people <laughs> or you can just be so good at something that you're just even if it makes no sense yeah they'll just recast you because like obviously he was iron man he was the best yeah. version of iron man yeah. I, the only two two other people that i think killed their role as good as him mm. was hugh jackman as wolverine uh -huh. and ryan reynolds as deadpool oh yeah hugh yeah, jackman exactly. hugh jack big fan big fan i just saw deadpool versus wolverine oh, and now i'm like that. i gotta watch all the x-men now just what, for him what'd you think Okay, so <laughs> why does she? <laughs> yeah, no spoilers. No spoilers. But what what did you think? I uh, you know I didn't like that he died in the end. Uh, <laughs> no, no, happen. that's not a spoiler. She's just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, troll. <laughs> no, no. Um, I thought it was fun. I didn't see Deadpool two, but I like saw a recap of it. I saw the first one. I thought it was. It was cool. It was flashy. It was fun. I just really liked Hugh Jackman in it. Mm -hmm. He just looked absolutely insane. But with I don't I'm not up to date with all the superhero movies, but I know the multiverse is a thing. Yes, and I and almost everything. wonder if that's what they're gonna tie in. Like Iron Man, it's like a multiverse. Like Doctor Doom. Oh, like in he's the multiverse. still Tony Stark, but that became Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. Yeah. I don't know though. Interesting. Okay. I don't know because I'm just new to the multiverse because I saw that movie. And Possibly. I mean, I think everybody's first opinion was that Iron Man's dead, so they could just bring him back, kind of like uh, Aunt Viv on Fresh Prince. <laughs> <laughs> just like, Not just even tell talk them, about it. Just don't talk about it. <laughs> Have the because honestly, most of the other Avengers are dead too. No. Well, like, I don't know. No. Thor's. Thor's not coming back as Chris yeah, Hemsworth think, isn't coming back. Yeah, yeah, Chris uh Chris Evans is done. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's in the past. He did say in the past, I think. Yeah, so now um 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 Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie is is Captain America, so mm -hmm. he will definitely remember who Ooh. I don't know if they I don't know Iron if America's is. ready for a black Captain America. Oh, uh, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, he already I, had I the series. The, yeah, I've seen the series and I saw the preview for the new movie. That looks good though. Red Hulk. I'm re I'm re that oh. got me excited about it. Yeah. I will say this. The racists I am, are still gonna be very. I am loud. very. <laughs> He's green. He's <laughs> supposed to be green. No, no. The racist for Anthony. <laughs> no, Mac I know. Okay. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody is talking about Hulk skin color. <laughs> the craziest part to me about Doctor Doom being R D uh, R D J is that Doctor Doom is. Iron Man's main nemesis. Like, is it? Yes. That oh. was his main nemesis. I thought it was the Fantastic Fours. Who ah. was Doctor Doom even fighting? Tony Stark and, and, and Doctor Doom are they're the, the biggest nemesis in the comic book world. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy that they took him from that role and made him his own nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> well, I almost wonder, this is metaphorical, but if he's his own worst enemy, you know, like the multiverse thing where it's like, comes into yeah, his universe. I was universe. wondering if they won't spin it like that. Like, just because like why live long enough that? to see you the villain. Yeah, see yeah. yourself as the villain. But also, people show out for RDJ. Like, yeah, but so that that's that's it. that's part of what I think the controversy around the Jonathan Majors thing is. He was like RDJ definitely had his problems. He got caught driving with tons of drugs in the car, under the influence, all types of stuff, and. Mm. I won't say it's swept under the rug, but he was given a second chance by Hollywood. And people Jonathan don't even remember Majors. that. Yeah, people don't remember it at this point. Mm -hmm. Like, unless you were a fan in his early years of his career. Mm -hmm. But with the Donna, Jonathan Major thing, like, he was, you know, 
I don't want. Well, he was convicted of some things, acquitted of other things. Yeah. Um, but in the, in the long run, he was cleared for the most, I guess, tragic things that yeah. he was accused of. And for them to like, they basically did the same thing that they did with um, Johnny Depp. You know, Johnny Depp took yeah. the role from him, but they gave it back to him. Yeah, Disney. Uh, yeah, they? Disney gave it back to. Uh, well, they offered it back to him. I think. I don't think he that took movie it, still it, didn't happen, right? Uh, the, the last Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, after I don't know. the. Uh, he back <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was in that. <laughs> the only thing with me is like I'm I'm kind of split because number one, it's Disney, so they really have a, a image to mm-hmm. hold up. But then at the end of the day, it's like we lived through. What's his name? Ezra Miller? The Flash? He was in Hawaii Yo. throwing chairs at women. Bro, and he, punch kidnapped, out. he kidnapped Wait. a minor and then went on the run. He had said minor. He is a full criminal. Yeah, and then they was like, we already shot it. They were like, DC <laughs> is in a tough spot. DC was like, fuck it. We already <laughs> shot it. We can't get a return on this investment. Let's just put they it. They were like, he turned this up in after being on a run with a not minor. Not that one. The most recent one. One thing about the Flash, Ezra. he's going to be on the run. They were definitely like, I mean, we're DC. We're already dark, right? <laughs> what's, a little, what's a little criminal All activity? All publicity is good publicity. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. I didn't yeah. know about that. And Iron Man, when uh, RD J was going through all that stuff. He wasn't it, the MCU wasn't a part of Disney yet. So I think that's the main difference is that like okay, this is Disney MCU, but it's also like man, like if obviously these two actors are white and Jonathan Majors is not. <laughs> I, did, I did notice it's that. Not. <laughs> I did take yeah. <laughs> I was so looking forward to him being Kang. Like that was gonna be cool. I like him as the villain. He's I was a good loved actor. him in Creed three. I like how big and menacing he was. I loved him in Ant Man. I was looking forward to he was him an being. He was in the last Ant Man as Kang. Yeah, yeah, he was Kang. He was the one who Ant Man and Wasp. Quantum. Quantum. I guess I didn't see that. Oh, he was good. I, I enjoyed his role in that. Like he 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 let you see like oh I'm gonna be a fucking problem. Like how and Thanos was first. Do. Yeah, Ooh. it was good. It was, I was so ready. Like when I act because I still say I'm gonna do it. I want to only do villain shit. Ooh. I don't want to be. Heroes arcs are usually so repetitive. It's the villains that you really get to sink your teeth into the role. Mm-hmm. Like the Joker was so fucking layered. Mm. Like it just that's that's what changed my view on wanting to be like a you know the antagonist and protagonist in a movie. Like I want to be the villain because that backstory it always makes how crazy you can get. So I, I just think villains just yeah. have no legs. Villains don't be joking yeah. around, though. A hundred percent. But I joke. feel like a hero can only be as good as the villain is. Because yeah, that's sorry, how villains. it shows yeah. how strong the hero is if the villain's like some on some bad shit. Mm-hmm. What's the like, what's an example yeah. of a, someone who, because I, I agree with that. Like, even if the the protagonist is really likable, if the villain sucks, the overall movie you kind of leave going like, man. Yeah, it's like, oh, you beat him? Yeah, sure. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we knew that was going to happen. Um. They said, so to hear what to play itself, yes. <laughs> yes, I want to be the villain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I always felt that way about The Flash. The Flash is a great superhero with not a lot of great villains. Like, Reverse Flash? Reverse Flash. Pretty lazy. It's a lazy title. Is that, wait, what's His, Reverse Flash? It's him. Okay, so you know how, like, <laughs> this is so funny to She's explain. just going backwards. You know how <laughs> he runs backwards? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> like, reverse in terms of, like, the color wave. <laughs> so you know how, like, you know how, like, the Flash is red with a yellow yeah. symbol? He's yellow with a red symbol. That is the <laughs> only difference. Look. That's the, that's the villain. <laughs> it, it looks like it's, it's like so even like a twin brother type thing. It's you so know? dumb. It's so Cain dumb. And, Abel. and maybe I don't know. No, that's what I'm saying. That's oh, yeah, the Flash's yeah. villain. Yeah, that's his name. So I know Flash has multiple villains, but that I, I just the Flash it's, never really had the like Flash a stand out. Though is cold as fuck because he could. He I love the Flash. Punch. He can build up so much speed that when he hits you, it's like getting hit by a dump truck, right? He can vibrate at such a high speed that he can make himself invisible or his face unrecognizable. He can phase through things, oh. yeah. He can run 
around the world as fast as Superman can fly, and he can time travel. Oh, wow. He can time travel? Yes. He That's his backstory? He can break the sound barrier and travel back in time. This like, nigga that's sucks. That's how it happened on uh, the second Flash, was it? Look at this. It says, <sighs> the reverse Flash intended to become Barry's sidekick to help him fight crime. When he realized he wasn't special to Barry at all, he decided to ruin Barry's life instead. This is The Incredibles. This is the <laughs> I've seen this. I've seen this. Low key. <laughs> that's The Incredibles. I feel like you can't be a super villain wearing yellow. Like, that's a really bright and happy color. That's bad. That's a bad villain costume. Not, who, what villains Am I wrong? You, what villains wear yellow? Are there, well, I mean, Wolverine was sporting yellow, and he was vicious. He yeah. was but vicious. But he was, he, was on the, he, was the side, he was on the side of justice, though. But for he the had greater attitude, good. Though. Yeah. He looks great in yellow. It's good. <laughs> it's good <laughs> for him. He looks yellow. great. That was my or favorite thing about the movie is how he looked in yellow. Thanos got a little bit of yellow on. Let me tell you what I look great in. <laughs> <laughs> blue. What kind of blue, you ask? Blue chew. That's damn right, people. Okay? I'm not gonna sit up here and sell you a dream. I'm tell you the real. We've been we've been rocking with Blue Chew for years now. It was one of our first advertisers, and one of the reasons that we still rock with them and they still rock with us is because we always tell the truth about Blue Chew. Blue Chew tablets are amazing products to us. Uh, for those that don't know, just in case you've been living under a rock for the last. 10 years. Uh, it's a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but at a fraction of the cost and in a chewable form. I'm not a big fan of pills. I do it because I have to, but I love the fact that I can chew Bluetooth tablets. The process is simple. You sign up at Bluetooth.com. You consult one of the licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Not in some crazy box if it puts all your business out there, but in a discreet package that comes right to your front door. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't care if it was in a crazy package, okay? Because this is if, if a product makes me run faster, jump higher, fly, I don't care who knows it. When I first started taking Blue Chew, I didn't need it. Pat didn't need it. Pat takes it too. I don't know if y'all know that, but Pat takes it too. We didn't need it. We just wanted to see what the possibilities were. And let me tell you, they have been endless thus far. I take it with me on vacation when me and the wife are going out of town. When we just want a crazy night in, we send the kid away. Blue Chew is in the house, okay? You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan it here or be ready whenever the opportunity arises. Blue Chew wants you to have better sex, and we are here to help you as well. So if you're ready to take your sex game to the next level, I want you to head on over to Blue Chew. Dot com. Use the promo code DIYS and uh, at, at checkout, and you're going to receive your first month for free. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping, okay? That's BlueChew.com, promo code DIYS to receive your first month for free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and more important safety information. We thank BlueChew for sponsoring this podcast, and we thank you for checking it out. Blue Chew. Blue Chew. You were saying what, uh, what villain wears yellow. You've heard of the Green Lantern, right? I've heard of the Green Lantern. Well, <laughs> get ready feast for the yellow. On the yellow lantern. <laughs> I'm dead oh, serious. Wait, actually, <laughs> yes. It's a, there's a whole yeah. There's a whole it's a Destro too, yeah. whole clan of yellow lanterns. That okay. I didn't know about that, but isn't that another one that kind of semi flopped a little bit? Flopped. flopped a little? Green Lantern is super popular. I mean, the the movie no, flopped. No, the movie. That's yeah, what yeah, I mean. yeah, not, yeah, not the comics. Yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about the comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it's super popular, but that was just a very uh, another lazy right. That, Absolutely. I, oh we got the God. Green Lantern and we got the Yellow Lantern. <laughs> just, just, just time with Doesn't it. even sound That as was good. end yeah. of the day. That was after lunch. Yeah, they yeah. came up with that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what are we going to call Just oh, fucking. I owe a villain. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I owe a villain before <laughs> the end gotta, of the we day. Gotta, we got to meet in the 10. Please. Orange <laughs> Lantern. No, that's that stupid. That sounds stupid. It's a fucking Jack Lantern. <laughs> what else do we have? <laughs> yellow Lantern? Red Lantern sounds cool, though. Go on. <laughs> Red Lantern does sound cool, but then they're like, but then that's gang affiliated. Okay, we gotta yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do gotta that. go. Uh, we gotta go with the yellow. It's also Flash. Flash and <laughs> Spider Man. Very all the suits are kind of close. A lot of so. reds. A lot that's... of reds. <laughs> oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Okay. Speaking of yellow, uh -huh. let's get into this monster story. Mm. That oh, monster by itself, story. that sentence didn't make sense, but you guys will see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You'll see why. Okay, so apparently, um, there's a and this is just a, a video. Uh, a couple's daughter complained about a monster in the walls of her bedroom. Um, she kept talking about it, and apparently a family hired a man to open up the wall where the monster was supposed to be, and they found no monsters but 
50,000 bees. How'd they count them? That's what I want to know. <laughs> How do they How do you count, count that? He's like, he's like, okay, that hundred, hundred. <laughs> like, like, how do you count fifty thousand bees? No, for real though, that was very specific. That's, I like maybe because they caught them all and then just uh, I don't know. With a hundred pounds of honey too. That's another. Oh, man. in the wall. Yeah. Ooh, fresh so, wall honey. So then they got Love ants that. too, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so said in May. <laughs> something it, they didn't find. In May, he's like, look at me. This is my nest. <laughs> <laughs> How does that even happen? Bro, I just saw another video where it was like that many in the roof. Um and that's, that's weird. Let me, let me, so, let me. so bees can make honey anywhere. Bro. It's not very yeah. like environment specific. They just like, need their like fuel and then come back. They, they are all right here. Let me see, let me go. Hundred and forty pounds of honeycomb. Like he had to lift up to all of that. Oh God! Look at that. Bro. It's so impressive and cool, but it's so gross at the same right. time. Right. Because like the word hive is so kind of it's like gross to me. It's like the yeah, the it's very hub. Close to HIV. E so, oh, oh, that was not what I was thinking. All right. <laughs> In May 2024, a three-year-old girl named Sailor Class, great name, uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina, reported hearing monsters in her bedroom wall for eight months. Damn. Eight months. Listen to your kids. Honestly, Listen I watch so many horror films. It's like, you got to start listening to your kids. There's some, there's some truth in that. Oh, my God. But her parents didn't hear the sounds, but tried to reassure Sailor by giving her a bottle of water and calling it monster spray. That <laughs> is not listening to That's your That's gaslighting. <laughs> As <laughs> Ashley posted a video about the incident on TikTok, which went viral. Ashley's the mother, by the way. Mm. Uh, after calling pest control, a beekeeper drilled a hole into the attic wall and found a hive of over 50,000 honeybees and 100 pounds of honeycomb. The bees had entered the wall through a dime-sized hole in a pipe in the chimney. <gasps> Okay. Well, that's oh. actually terrifying, because <laughs> if you think about it, their their house was pretty, like, the defense Sealed. was there. Yeah, like a dime sized hole in the chimney. Who's checking the chimney? <laughs> and there's, first of all, kind of scary. And once I didn't they know build, they had they pipes in them. Chimneys have pipes in them. I thought it was just a brick. A brick path for the smoke to get out. <laughs> I have zero understanding of chimneys. So it's not even like a hole in the chimney. It was a hole in a pipe in the chimney. The beekeeper extracted the bees and carried them away in bee boxes. Bee boxes. <laughs> that sounds bee so fun, right? <laughs> but the family was left with $20,000 in damages that weren't covered by insurance. Ashley said she realized from mm. the comments and messages she received on TikTok that the experience is common mm -hmm. and that many people have been through it. Sure Those insane. parents heard the bees. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. They were putting off that bill for eight months. They were trying yes. to figure out a loophole <laughs> where they could like claim it on insurance. And then they're just like, bro, we got to, we got to. Yeah. She hears monsters every night. <laughs> <laughs> like, you haven't been in your, your daughter's room ever? Like, you're not hearing. Zzz, 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 night, it's not even like bed. one well, bee. It was, it was in the hallway, though, wasn't it? Either no, way, 50,000? You must hear that all day. That's. Spray that on there so we don't have to pay oh $20,000 yeah, and make an the news. Yeah, why don't you get me exterminator because <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, listen to your kids. <laughs> <laughs> this people actually advise that they, they'll build something so bees can build on the side of their house. Mm -hmm. I've seen that video. What about the sting of the bees? Interesting. What about the sting? Well, no, the bees don't come in your house. Yeah, it's like a plastic oh. tubing that they fly in and they build a hive like on your wall, but it's encased. So they can't come Absolutely in the house, you not. can't interact with them, but they can fly in and Nigga, out. Nigga, there either. isn't a YouTube channel that just plays bee noises? Right here! I bet there is, I bet there is. It's so like, there it is right there, the beehive observation hive. Yellow black noise. That's, <laughs> what, that's what it is. Nice. Yeah, that was a great fucking joke. There we go. <laughs> I love the sound of, like, ocean, but I'm not gonna, like... Invite the ocean into my house. I'm just <laughs> I just have look it up on YouTube. Or on the beach, so I can just come in. Just have a water feature in your bedroom. Jesus, I'm gonna find the video. It was, just it was for pretty, the sound. I it's wonder if dope. you could sell the honeycomb, or even just sell the oh, bees because right they're putting the bees somewhere. You should. Oh wow, so right? they're so coming like, in from outside. Yeah, and they build hive in each one of those hexagons. That's kind of cool. It is. It's Until you dope. go outside, I guess. Beehives but look are at the that crazy hives, one right there. That's fucking crazy, That's bro. Those are the ones that look That's disgusting very dis to That's me. That's very discouraging. Those are like them zombie hives where mm -hmm. they be like spawning. Ooh, yeah. 
Yeah, little monsters and eggs. Y'all tell me if you use that little tool from the outside and then you just mm -hmm. Okay. That's cool. They should have did that instead of twenty thousand dollars worth of damage, because they could have just made that wall that just made it glass, little and curio it as much as possible. Yeah, there's something called bee vibration therapy, where you can like go to a house and there's vibrations from all the bees in there. Those bees don't even know what they're, Listen, they're doing. I know that. after they got that deal, them boys <laughs> needed a little break. So I hope that they reached out to the good folks over there at Via. Okay, for those that don't know about Via. Via is an amazing, amazing uh, THC and THC free gummy company with soothing tropical uh, topicals and calming drops, all crafted with the highest quality hemp source from trusted, independently owned American farms, US of A baby. Let me tell you something. I've been trying for years to find uh, a THC gummy. RTSE free gummy that like just really soothed me and didn't just make me super sleepy or something like this. And these are the ones they said, shout out to Vaya. They sent a whole box over to the house with multiple options. And when I tell you, I was like, all right, here's another one that's not going to work. I was so chill. I even laid down and couldn't go to sleep. I absolutely love the, uh, the result of the product that I tried. Um, Vaya. It's organic and vegan hemp extracts perfect for relaxation or rejuvenation via the only lifestyle hemp brand they use compounds found in hemp along with active planting extracts to help create products with specific effects in mind i'm talking about they have different bottles that tell you exactly what it's supposed to do and how it's supposed to help you how it's supposed to make you relax what you're going to feel over half a million customers serve their products range from zero milligrams to 100 milligrams of thc so these guys have you covered whether you're looking to microdose or enjoy more potent effects quality ingredients like i said they're sourced from the finest hemp uh for your peace of mind lab tested and certified so again y'all already know if i'm telling y'all about it you got to know that we got a little code for you. So if you're 21 and over, check out the link to buy our description and use the code DIYS to receive 15% off. After you purchase, they'll ask you where you heard about them. Let them know you heard about it on DIYS. Please support our show. Please support them. Tell them we sent you. Unleash the green and live the American dream with buyer. All right, before we get up out of here, uh, we got to talk a little bit about the Olympics, a couple of the highlighting mm -hmm. things. First of all, I don't know if you've seen the thread that says, uh, unfortunately, I, w I wasn't chosen or I didn't make it to the Olympics. Those videos, oh, have you seen those? Yeah, I haven't seen those. Uh, so freaking funny. It's people who are showing them doing sports and just failing at them epically. <laughs> and unfortunately, I wasn't chosen for the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what chick was trying to do a flip? She's like, it just fell backwards. She couldn't go all the way over. People falling off of the diving board. Uh, oh my gosh! Just, yeah, on the beam, on the, like, the gymnastic beam, oh, beam where damn. they make it seem so seamless. You see somebody do it wrong, you're like, "Wow, that is hard." It <laughs> must be. Yeah, but People it's funny. People have been posting it from like when they were kids too, messing mm -hmm. up. And I think that's just even. That's funnier. what's crazy though. A lot of these people that we're seeing in the Olympics have been doing it since they were five years old. Oh yeah. And then they pull up and get eighth place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's rough. But Simone, eighth in the world. Yeah. In the, when it's in the world. No, when when, Simone, when can you flex uh, that? <laughs> but Biles I'm eighth in the world. Okay. Just uh posted something. She <laughs> was like, "Stop asking people what they do. What's next at the Olympics? Like, I just won that a was medal." It. That's well, yeah, she's like, I just won a medal I've trained my whole life for. And somebody, like, tweeted her. I was like, what's next at the Olympics? She was like, I'm babysitting my medal. I was like, ooh. That that's fire. Great. That's mm -hmm. a great response. Telling a that's gold great. medalist what's next is insane. Like, what do you, what do – what does the internet want from us? <laughs> <laughs> it's never, never ending. Enough. It's she never got ending. Gold. It's never enough. I'm going to tell you this. Um, I'm glad old boy won. What's his name? Uh, the dude was Lyles. talking shit about the uh, yeah, yeah. like best in the world, world of what the USA? Talk I mean, shit I about love America. All the basketball players there was in the there was, was in the, the stands stage. waiting for him to, to fail, shit. Mm -hmm. and, and then he, he won. won go. He they were like, hmm. hey, thank goodness for photo finishes because I was like, oh, mm. Jamaica won. It didn't look yeah. that it looked so look, weird. Yeah, it did not look like he won it, but the chest out really makes a difference. I would I would just throw myself I would lunge myself at the finish line. <laughs> the last that whole chest thing, yeah. <laughs> Those would be great pictures too. If you're just like, oh, 
parallel with the ground. As long as you're in your lane, it counts. As long as you're in your lane. Head first, you're like a human torpedo. (laughs) They said it was like five milliseconds that he won by. But that's, I mean, that's the the difference between gold and silver. Do they count it like your body across the line or when your foot like slaps the line? I think it's It's the the body. It's the body. Because someone else's foot was very clearly. Somebody's foot was already over. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I saw too. Yeah. Yeah. That's so insane that it comes down to milliseconds. Uh, his dick. Damn. I thought they had cups. I thought they tape had cups. Tape it up. It's the Olympics. Like tape it. <laughs> but don't they have? I don't just they feel have like cups? That's what I would do. But don't like, they have cups? A, yeah. It was. Yeah, it this is better like, press than a gold medal, though. It oh. looked like he, <laughs> low key, it looked like he stuffed. It looked like a tube <laughs> sock in the thing, and I'm like, you left home with that. You're an hey. Olympic hey. athlete. You maybe he knew he up. was. Maybe he knew the the top three pole <laughs> vault vaulters. Like he wasn't gonna get, he wasn't gonna beat them. So he was like, how do I make the news though? Maybe with this big old dick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was supposed to take gold, but my dick was like. Uh, <laughs> You know Should have pulled saying? off it with that. And then old oh boy from, was it Ukraine? With the yeah. Turkish dude with shooting. That was gangster. With no protective was... gear. I wish he won gold. Oh, my God. That was... But if you saw who won gold, I was like, oh. Was okay. it the chick? The Korean girl? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she looked like she was ready for anything. Anything that, the, the only thing that would have made him win the silver better was if he had turned the gun sideways. <laughs> like, that's just bad shooting. <laughs> <laughs> that's just bad shooting. <laughs> The That's hand a great in the story. pocket, no protective iron ear gear on, sideways like cloud. That's first of all, this is the this is the first time I've seen pistol shooting make the news in Olympics. Like of all the Olympics that I've yeah. somewhat been following, I've never just seen Bussin as one of the <laughs> one of the sports. You know what? He didn't have on a uniform either. He, he didn't had have nothing. On like a U.S. Polo T-shirt. He closed one eye. <laughs> It was just ah! like it was like a hitman. My man had a U.S. Polo Association T-shirt on, hand in the <laughs> pocket. It was like, and I'm out. Everyone else had like eye gear, <laughs> uniforms. The girl who won was super fitted, by the way. She was fly oh, yeah. as hell. She was John Whitney. Big main character energy. He just looked like um the nigga from Independence Day. What's the dude's <laughs> name with the glasses? <laughs> Oh, uh, super dude, famous. Dude from uh, uh, Jurassic Park 2. Yeah, he's in everything. Jeff Goldblum. He oh, looks just like yeah. that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he just went out. He just came out there. Uh, <laughs> <not> the <laughs> they asked me to come through. Uh, I shot the gun. He always does that. Uh, 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 I shot the gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we got to get ready to get up out of here. But before we do, we want to thank uh, Kenzie for coming through. Also, we want to ask her. There's anything that people should be on the lookout for, where they can find her, you know, all mm. the good jazz. Uh, let them know, Kenzie. Take it away. Yeah, find me on socials under Baby Knees. That's mm-hmm. me. Um, like a deer? <laughs> like a what? Like a deer? You know, was... deers be having baby knees. I didn't. No, no. Like Bambi when they first No, I didn't know that they be, had baby knees. They be kind of wobbly. Okay, so there's, you... there's baby knees. So what's that? Well, why? That's just, it's just what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had to ask. <laughs> Baby knees. Is... God oh has to have a story. God. Yeah, you can... <laughs> just because it was a burner account at first, but then I'm like, well, I can't change it now. <laughs> so it's Baby Knees. It's very easy to remember. Baby and knees. Uh, I got a couple shows at the end of the month. One on the 23rd, stand up shows. One on the 23rd. Oh, where is it? Fourth Wall. And then another one, the 31st, at uh, the clubhouse. Nice. Come through. There it is. Nice. Pull up on the like bridges, ladies and gentlemen. Pull up on baby knees. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> your comedy day. As always, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And we'll see you on our next episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Peace, guys. <laughs>